Hi, Angie Blum here. I'm going to show you how you can uh, make your own card fronts on the app print to size. You're going to go to your email and you're going to grab your digital kit and you're going to save the PNG files. Um, if you press on the PNG file, you're going to see that it's either going to be very like, image show up with a black background and you're just going to save those to your photos. So that's what I'm doing here. So I'm just looking for the PNG and then I'm just going to save. And then you can go in to the print to size app. I'm doing this in the horizontal. You're just gonna grab your sentiment or your images. Um, you can see there's all these little buttons and arrows. So the little dots, you can move that up and down with your finger and that will resize the image. Also flip it um, or duplicate it, whatever it says in that little bar. So then you're going to grab your images and you are going to resize to whatever you like. Make sure you're using the letter size. So in the settings, you can change it to a US letter. And then this will give you a full eight and a half by 11 sheet that you can create um, whatever panels you want. Today I'm creating two A2 panels and one slimline panel on the same sheet of paper. So you're just going to duplicate. You can add uh, other images. We're just going to do the sunflowers today. So this way you can see that um, they're all layered up. Everything's got a white fill. So it's easy enough to layer on top of each other without having to erase a background because these are all the PNG files that come with your kit. And if you don't want to do the PNG files on your own, there's printables in every kit as well. So that just makes it easier for you to set your printer to letter size and just print those off. Cut them down five and a half by four and a quarter. And you will have four panels or there's also slim lines in there. So you just cut them down to your slim lines as well. So this is how you do your sheet. Just move it around. It's so easy. You can do individual panels by just putting in what size you want or do a full sheet of panels. I hope this helps you guys all and print them off from your iPad or your computer, whatever you want to use. So help a lot of people see that it is so easy to create with digital stamps. Thank you so much.